since it started two years ago, the Newlon Nationals has grown immensely. It started as a grassroots motorsport series for car clubs, but has grown into much more, with the workshop challenge now happening alongside the car clubs. Nine of the East Coast top workshops are competing for series honours. It's quite simple really, three cars per team and cars are given points based on their placings and then the points are added up and they rank the workshops. There is no point having one mega quick car and two slow ones as it's all about the average of all three. Consistency is the key. Now let's take a look at the workshops and how they went. Ninth place was Red Sun Motorsport. With their main time attack car still in the build, they were out in Matt Trevina's Corolla and Angus's Supra, essentially both drift cars. And Matt Hanslow was driving Big Yeller, the rear wheel drive Honda Civic. Eighth was full noise performance with three more drift cars. Blake Patterson was able to put down a respectable 1 minute 47, while Tristan put down a 46. Not bad at all for cars normally found sideways. Next was Insight Motorsport. One of their team members didn't record a time, but Graham Watts' 1 minute 41 in the S15 was third quickest in the workshop class. Combined with Matt Harris's 1 minute 48 in the Civic, they still managed seventh place. Sixth place went to Porter Performance. Sean's Mirage ran a 1 minute 48.65. Matt Baxter's Evo ran a 47, and Ian Porter managed a 1 minute 45 in his wild XR6 Turbo Ute. Next was Garage 88. Josh Young was in the 56s in his Toyota 86. But Charles and Steve's Evo 9s ran in the 42s and 47s to help better their average. Powertune had a DNF with one car, but managed fourth with only a two car team. Ben Shui ran a 1 minute 44, while Daniel's S15 ran a 1 minute 43.59. Third place was V-Sport, who had a wide spread of times. Andrew Field ran a 50 in the SS Ute. While Scott ran a 45 in the S13. But Nicholas Bates' 1 minute 37 in the Toyota 86 was good enough for second outright amongst the workshops and bumped up their team placing. Uh, pretty disappointing today for us actually. We just had a little engine issue. So we decided not to do any more damage and uh, call it quits after just the first session. Um, but our other customer cars have had a great day and yeah, been tripping along really well. 
The battle for first and second was very close once again, only four points separating them. BYP managed to take first and fourth outright, but Adrian's RX-7 had some issues and only ran a 1 minute 52. Philips S13 ran a 1 minute 41.66. And BYP team captain Benny Tran managed a 1 minute 32.39 in the Time Attack Integra, the fastest workshop car by an astonishing five seconds. Um, the Integra, you know, we haven't driven here for probably a year and a half, 18 months now. Um, we just finished its rebuild, so we did a few, mo like the exterior itself, it's very simple, same as 2014. And we just put bigger tyres and we've just taken it out. There's a few teething issues, but we should be all set for the afternoon run. First place once again went to Team Karam, who made it through with good consistency, collecting 5th, 6th and 10th place for their drivers. Leo ran a 1 minute 45 in his Evo 6, while Rocky ran a 1 minute 41.96 in his Evo 8. And their quickest driver was Jimmy Assad in another Evo with a 1 minute 41.83. Another win from Team Karam opens their lead in the workshop challenge even further, but BYP is still within striking distance in second and V-Sport only slightly behind in third. The final round at Kudamundra Airport will decide the championship. Stay tuned.